Hello folks, it's Kaylee and Delight from Freddy's Girls and today we are doing faces with you. <laughs> so these guys here we bought firsthand. I don't know if that's a term. We bought them new. This one's from HomeSense. Went for $24.99 but we just love the look of these often when we're selling products. We take them in a picture, like stage them next to these guys, and everyone always asks about these heads. So we're going to try and figure out if we can recreate our own heads. If you saw one of our recent thrift haul videos, the Big Spenders one, I got these at the Prairie Crocus, and what we've done is we've done the IOD molds around their face to give them that bit of detailing, and today we're gonna paint them up, kind of similar to the rusty, crusty finish. If you watch our rusty, crusty video, we're gonna put some grout on there to kind of age it and weather it. And, and give it texture. Give it texture. So I'm gonna work on these, mom's gonna work on that. But what I'm doing is I have the weathered wood DIY paint. I've got just a couple of drops. I'm not gonna need a lot. And then I've got some old tile grout from, uh, you know, from when we were tiling a project. And all I'm doing is I'm taking about a teaspoon of it, throwing it in to my weathered wood, mixing her up, pretty thick, I guess. And I'm gonna paint my head. I don't need to add any water or anything, hey? Well, you should, if, you need, if it's too thick, you'll have to add more paint. Okay. I mean, you think that's okay? You might need a bit more paint. You've got two heads. Yeah. <laughs> two heads are better than one. Two heads it? are better than one. Yeah, so that's all I'm doing. And then I'm, uh, I'm going to paint my heads up with this mixture, this concoction. And we're going to see if it kind of makes it look cementy, grainy. But yeah, I think it's a cement look more than a rusty, crusty look we're going yeah. for today. But this is the same stuff we use in yes, the rusty, yes. crusty look. It gives, a, it gives a texture. All right, pass me a brush. Okay, what do you want? Take your pick. Oh, we, you you. Say we need new brushes. Yeah. Um, okay, so while she's working on that, if you saw that last video, she bought home, and she'll show you a picture of it um, later, the before. But it was, we couldn't decide if it was for a bathtub or if it was just a little riser, but it was this lovely piece of wood <laughs> uh, made in the Philippines and it had these it bottom things. It was made in the Philippines? Yeah, oh. it says on the bottom. Okay. And it had, I think it's that monkey, monkey pot or whatever they call that one. So there's little like indents on the bottom here and these things went up through it and that was what held it up. But to me it just kind of seemed dated. So I took uh, those off and they just came off easily. And I put some doorknobs, door handles underneath oh, yeah. it, cool. and to give it little feet. So those have already been. Oh, you just on. glued them on. I just yeah. used my tight bond. Yeah. And then to cover up that hole where the where those wooden uh, slats came through, I just made an IOD mold from the um, locks and key one, and just glued them on over top of those molds. So now I'm ready to start painting and I'm going to uh, use, I've decided I'm going to use Sandy Blonde. Again, another nice, uh, another nice kind of a neutral for fall. So that's my plan today. I'll start with my lid here. I'm going to start underneath. You may as well, you're going to paint the whole thing. Yeah, I think so. I like to do the backs and fronts okay. and everything. So we finish Some look. Good progress on it. What was the IOD mold? Was this lock and key? This no, that's mold. Olive Crest. Olive Crest. Yeah. I like the names they come yeah, up with. I do too. And you know what I really like is that they keep coming up with new products. Like there's going to be a release right away of some um With some christmas paint, stuff? Paint, well that's coming too but some yeah new paint and lace christmas and whatever i don't know fall so that's the fun thing about them is they never just make something and then yeah reuse it the next year yeah no it's always new stuff yeah that, um, yeah 
which keeps the interest stuff and of course keeps everybody buying the product. Yeah, right? but it's just, you know, it's just nice to, it is nice. to get new ideas and That's stuff. That's what crafting is all about. Yeah, mm -hmm. exciting. And yeah, exactly. Well, I think that's all right for our first coat. Do you do, you just do one coat with this? Well, or you do? You might need to do, you want that one, I think, to be covered quite well. So, so I might have you to might do have to do two. It's a second coat. Yeah. Because I'm going to come over top of it once I'm done with a, uh, like a, a whiter, a lighter wash, I guess. A gravel road. Yeah. Okay. To try to achieve a look, something like this head here. So I bought these ones and mom sent me a text and she goes, I hope you won't be mad because she had put the, uh, the IOD mold on and I said, oh no, no, they're great. And then she goes, I wanted to drill a hole in them so that we could put the greenery in there, but there's no way we would have survived that. Like, <laughs> Well, I, I had dad looking them over pretty good and I thought, oh, you know, with a glass cutter or something and he's like, oh, I'm not doing it. So there's a a glass shop down the street and I was really tempted to take it to them but then really? I, I was I thought well this is like ceramic isn't it I know or? but I thought if anybody could do it they'd have a so I do run across these heads in the thrift store on a fairly frequent basis there's some right now on NCC uh, so I might <laughs> get my nerve up Buy some and take it to the glass shop because just think that you can oh, make Oh, get this. your nerve up and if your nerve is ever down. <laughs> then you could make those planters out of them. You know, yeah, it's like, like, go ahead. Well, it's interesting because I did the, the uh, research on these things to find out what they are. Which things? These heads. Yeah. And they're called Holland. Holland molds or Holland heads or something. Hall in something or other, mm -hmm. and they're selling on Etsy. Like I mean, they're on Etsy for like I've seen them anywhere from sixty to one hundred and twenty-five dollars. But seriously, I can't see anybody buying that. So well, they must have some I sales. I don't know. I just can't see. Well, it. see, we have never flipped any heads or done any heads, so this is kind of our experiment to see if it will, you know, how hot of a seller they're going to be. Yeah, I just like, don't think they're going to be that hot. But I don't know. So, like these, well, one, like, these ones are smaller than those ones, which, you know. Right. We're definitely updating them with this look, so. Yeah. That's that part. I mean, if you could get the greenery in there, that would be. Oh, yeah, then, because, like you say, whenever I stage anything close to them, we have some big shelves behind our dining room table. And so often I'll stage things on those shelves, and that's where that's those, again. those, the Are gun. <laughs> Why? Why is that funny? Oh. Yeah, okay. it'll work. Okay. okay. Uh, everybody, like, they don't even notice what I've staged, but they'll say, Are you selling the heads? <laughs> so I they, think they're going to be popular. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. So by the way, I never asked you, you said you found that saint that helps people sell their houses. What saint Joseph. It? Saint Joseph. Did uh, you tell people about that and did you end up selling it? No, I have not sold it yet, but I did buy it. Um, apparently, I, I had a thing for saints. Like anytime I see a, um, who's the guy I like? Saint Francis. Saint Francis. Um, I St. always Francis buy a St. Francis, yeah. and I have him in various sizes around the house and stuff. I don't know, I just like him. Like, he was the guy that said, um, oh, what did he say? See, I don't know anything about oh. his teaching. Oh, it's, I can't think of it right off the spot. You caught me, you caught me off guard. Oh, shoot. But he was the saint of, like, um, of nature and things like that, apparently. Okay, but so that's why he's always in the garden. I guess then. so. So I have one in the garden. Up. Yeah, I have one out there as well. But anyhow, so I bought St. Joseph. He's apparently, uh, in certain cultures, they plant him right next to the for sale sign. And it's a, in their belief, he helps them sell their house. So 
uh, he is not a soldier, but uh, he has a lot of interest. Hmm. Well, I'm sure he'll go at some point. You just never know, right? You yeah. just never know. But, yeah, the hands, the hands, I think, so the favorite. Yeah. Finish drawing this one. Yeah, I would give them a second coat. Yeah. Get them covered I quite well. I more weather with. So where are you off to tomorrow? Oh yeah, we're taking a little trip. Dad and I were going to Moose Jaw. So Winnipeg is right in the center of Canada, and Moose Jaw is about six hours from here, in the province right next to us, Saskatchewan. And uh, the reason we're going there is because uh, my husband's brother and his family they moved there about, oh man, it's almost two years ago now, I think. It must be. They moved from southern Ontario, from uh, just outside of Barrie, a little place called Oro Station, one of the prettiest places in Canada that I think I've ever been. I just loved it there. Um, second to Niagara on the Lake. Like, you can't get yeah. better than Niagara on the Lake. Except maybe our little town of Steep Rock that we take. Right? Although it's not populated at all, our no. little town. So that's what's interesting about Niagara on the Lake, all the shops and oh, stuff. Oh yeah, it's a great place. But anyhow, they moved from Oro Station. They were both retiring. And uh, my sister-in-law had family in Moose Jaw. Well, they also had family in Winnipeg, but they bypassed well, us. Because <laughs> her father was in Moose Jaw and uh, elderly and stuff. And they settled in Moose Jaw, moved from Southern Ontario, and are, I would say, thriving, doing very well there. And what a what a change in real estate prices. Oh. It was a really good uh, retirement move because they sold a, they sold a, their home in 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 Oro Station, and. Uh, we're able to move to Moose Jaw and, you know, have... Well, there's no doubt that, that prices in the prairies don't compare to prices in Ontario, right? And we've heard it from those... We've had actually a few people watching from Ontario to say that our thrift store prices are so much cheaper here. So it only goes to follow that our housing prices mm -hmm. are cheaper too. So... Well, my husband keeps telling me that he thinks the prairies are the best kept secret in Canada and that before you know it, they're going to be heavily populated because they are a great place to live. And we are still much more reasonable in our, in our uh, real estate prices. And, you know, a job is a job. Like if you're a teacher in Manitoba or a teacher in Ontario, you know, Ontario or BC, I, I don't think it's a whole lot roughly, different. Eh? Yeah, I don't think it's a whole lot different. Yeah, that's very true. So, the only thing is our weather is a little bit more, you know, well, extreme. We here. always say, <laughs> great place to live, just bring a parka. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Six months of winter. I mean, all Canadians have a lot of winter, but yeah. And if you're let's coming it. for in your retirement years, you just can, go to Arizona for yeah, the summers. You can, for the winters. <laughs> or the, I mean, the winters. <laughs> you can take a trip down south, yeah. and that really shortens up the winters. So we do love our prairies. That's our little uh, blurb for the prairies. Yeah. Okay. Come on down. We should have almost just mixed it up in the bottom of that thing. Yeah, Mixed there's not much. Okay, so this needs to get dry. I'm going to, uh, after I finish this, I'm going to use dark wax on these details and stuff. Okay. Yeah, we, I don't think we've used the dark wax on our videos yet, have we? Mm -hmm. I think so, actually. I'm actually, and I'm kind of dabbing it on a bit here. I don't mind if it's a bit of a messy look. So the interesting thing about this trip to Moose Jaw is that um, my husband also has a sister who lives in Kelowna. And they, we were all going to meet in Moose Jaw. Us coming from Winnipeg, then coming from Kelowna, out in D.C. And we were going to have a little reunion. But I don't think I even told you this. 
that uh, that Grace called and said they had to go back oh. because Kelowna is under oh, extreme fire. fire watch right now. There are big fires up in the, the mountains there. And where they live is in the evacuation uh, section. Oh. So they have to evacuate. So they, they I mean... Oh. They wanted to get back home and, and try and save some stuff. Well, or? I guess. I mean, you, you know, get certain things out of the house, right? I started talking like, what would you take if you were in evacuation? That's terrible. It's well, and that's happened to them other years, too. Like, yeah, like, like home, it seems to be a hot spot. Yeah. Oh. So that's too bad because I was looking, I haven't seen them in a while, like since COVID. Yeah, like, is our wedding the last time you saw them? They were here for your wedding, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, that's, that's three it. years oh, yeah. ago then, the last time you yeah. saw them. Three years you guys have been married. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. Time. Oh, that whole COVID thing, I lost track of time during then. Yeah. It's like kind of some dark, some dark years there. Some quiet years for a lot of quiet people. Quiet years, yeah. yeah. And a lot of people, I think, seem to think they're still recovery we're still you know there's been fallout from it right oh huge fallout like well i don't know if it's related to covid or if it's just related to our population is aging or i don't know what it's related to but it's yeah like it's, people well, have needs last night i was even hearing on the news about youth and the mental health issues that they feel kind of stem from COVID. Yeah, like just being stuck online and that kind of thing. I guess so. I like guess a lot so. of people are just so disconnected or I don't know. Okay folks, clear wax. We're going in with clear wax first. <coughs> if, if you want to dark wax, you would not want to put it directly onto this very porous paint. So we, by clear waxing it first, you get a lot more control over what you do. So I'm going to go in here with some clear wax. Do you think this is good enough, or should I do her? I think that's good, yeah. Yeah, like I he's better good. than she is, but it doesn't have to be perfect, hey? Eh? No. We are never aiming for perfection. Perfectly imperfect. I think it's Ginger Chick that says that. Oh yeah, I think so. Ginger Chick we have. Perfectly yeah. imperfect. Perfectly imperfect. I'm excited to see how these heads turn out. <laughs> okay, pass me the gun. I'll dry them. I'll try to not light anything on fire <laughs> this time. You don't have any fabric here. <laughs> yeah, so look at how the color changes when I put that wax on. This isn't the cleanest brush. I should have one just straight for clear wax. Yeah. But it's going to be fine because I'm dark waxing so. Yeah. You're going to dark wax the whole thing? I think just, so. Yeah. I think so. Well, I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. I mean, why not? I'm liking the look of these guys already. Yeah, though. I am too. Right on. So you're going to make that watered down wash again with me today? Yeah, so if you saw our French country finish video, we, uh, we did our, what was that, step two? of the three steps? I think yes. step two. Yes. <coughs> so we're going to do step two on these heads. So we're going to just water down. I've got some gravel road and I'm going to water it down and I'm going to dab it over to try to lighten it up a bit just like this head here and see if, you know, that gives me the look I'm looking to, to get. I think this looks quite nice when you uh, wipe back the clear wax. Yeah. It does look like it. Does That's look the nice. sandy road. I don't know. Sandy, sandy blonde. blonde. Maybe I won't dark wax everything. Maybe I'll just dark wax the. Uh... 
yeah. wax the um, detail here. Yeah, because it looks nice. It does look nice. I like this grout look. <laughs> Especially when you start to lighten them up, right? Yeah. Like well, that just, head would have started off with something dark like that, like the one we bought. Oh, absolutely. I bought one of those at uh, HomeSense and one of them at Michael's. I first of all found the one at HomeSense, and then I went into Michael's, and they had all this uh, type of thing on half price. So I thought, oh, why not? <laughs> so, anyway. Yeah, I'm going to use the dark wax from um, DIY. Actually, this is black wax. There is a dark wax, like a brown and a black. I'm rubbing my paint off with this cord here. I don't want too much on, but you can see I'm going into the details here. Yeah. I feel like the black wax, it's an art to learn how to use it. I agree. I think it scares most people for <laughs> Yeah. But no, it's it's nice. Yeah. I should have another brush to clean it. Clean it up. Yes, sometimes you just need a brush on these details, like other than my old stencil brush, that just see how that kind of fanned it out a bit. Yeah. Go back some more. It's almost dry. Okay. We'll put some of this so here some my more. heads are. Step one is done. And now fully they're hot. <laughs> One and done. Okay, if you could see the difference from this side to this side. Yeah. Right, with the wax and no wax. And I can, uh, uh, if you're unhappy with your wax, you think you've got too much or whatever, you can always go back with um, some clear wax. And that will help to erase it, almost like an eraser, to help keep off if you think there's too much in spots. I should probably have a rag. Uh, yes. Oh. I've got a servant here. Look at that. Okay, so you're watering that too, right? Yeah, I am. I should. So I'm wondering if I should be doing this on a rag or not, but I'm just doing it straight it's on the piece. I just dipped my brush in the gravel road, and then I dipped it in the water. And so this is just one dip of gravel road so far. It's gravel road. Right now. Oh, I like it. And some of the parts have chipped off, which I think are nice. Like oh, yeah. down to the white. Oh yeah, that is nice. Like yeah. it's it's amazing what when you put the the blower on that and it just kind of oxidizes it. Yeah. And it gives it a very different look. Yeah, it's that sort of cementy old worldy. Yeah. Yeah, this is kind of what I was thinking when I found this at the thrift store. So you see, that's interesting. When you go, I didn't go with her that day because I wasn't feeling well. And she bought these things home, and it was kind of like a challenge. Oh no, like what are we going to do with these? Because normally when I see something in the thrift store, I get my vision right there. What but it I'm was gonna do with it, it you was know? my vision. Yeah, right? it was yeah. your vision. Yeah. Okay, so I'll put a bit more clear wax on top of this to kind of even out. Oh, I like that look. Look at that. Kind of just kind of aged it a bit. Put some more over here. Oh, I'm liking my Okay, I'll put the heat the blower on because it makes such a difference. And I like as where it dries. Okay, Some magic happens when it dries. And you can talk to me when I get cool to work. Yeah, it is like magic. Oh, wow. And then we, I think we would dry brush on the, on the detail. 
like, uh, oh, on the, white, white on drivers. her, yeah. on her, what do you call that, on her reef, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, I like it, Katie. I think Maybe. I'll go pick up this other one. Yeah. I like those parts where it, it chipped off down to the white, which are just lovely, too. Oh, guys. Yeah. yeah. Let's list them on Etsy for $65.99. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we won't do that, but... And even you can see how the water runs down her face. I like it. Like I'll try and show you guys a better look when it's all dry. I don't you know, want to... that is such a great thing because I see those so often. Yeah, well, see I knew there was a vision for this. You were right. Yeah. That's what you gotta have the young and the old. <laughs> Mom's pretty good at coming up with new ideas, like most of, yeah. I have passed those guys up. Yeah. yeah, I'm going to take a little bit of the gold gilding wax and just, just a touch of it in there. I don't want too much of this, but just a little bit. So, and I'm just going to show you guys up close. So there's varying degrees of the whiteness, which I like. I don't want it to be even. So it's a bit blotchy maybe in spots, but I just think that adds to her charm. I don't want to go over her with another coat of white. I just want to leave, or not even white, but light. I'm going to leave her as is, and I'm going to try the same thing with my man. Can I dry brush you with some Yeah, white? dry brush. What are you doing? Okay, bring it out the white swan. So you're going to do what exactly? Just on the, the Just wreath? on the wreath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. I give you permission. Thank you. I can't wait now. Okay. See, this one we haven't tried ahead of time. This one, we are just trying it, a new technique, live for the first time with you guys, so. Yeah. A new way to update heads. Yeah. <laughs> okay, if you remember the dry brushing technique, and don't forget, in the end, this will all get, I would big top this, not wax it. Yeah, I think the wax, it, you wouldn't be able to wax yeah, it because it's you so rough. Part. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so the big top might even change the final color. It'll make it a, a little more vivid, bit. but not, not but too much. But see how the water's sort of running? I'm going to try and get it to run down the face. But you it know just, what might have been cool? Hmm. To add a bit of green in there. Maybe oh. like it looks like moss in spots. I did yeah. that one every time. See, and I'm just okay. letting it run. Okay, so I've done, put a little bit of paint on a dry brush, and I'm wiping it off on my rag, and then just gently fanning out over these, oh, wowzers. <laughs> wowzers. Don't you love these molds? Like, they're just oh. such simple things, but they can just change personalities. Yeah, no, I think the white is a good idea. Like, if you wanted, I don't know that we would on this one, but you could even put some gold or something. Mm -hmm. But these are almost more like gardeny, like, like they've been really weathered. But you yeah, depending on the colors too. you did on your knees, right? But, okay, are you thinking you could put this in the garden? Well, I'm like saying the DIY it looks like it came from Oh, the I see. It looks like it came. Now, do you think it should be dry brush other than that? I think you should do more on the reef. Okay, more. Yeah. I see, we're experimenting, folks. Yeah. And like I say, there's no right or wrong way to do it. No, there it's really just isn't. It's a matter of preference. What do you like? You know? I think that's what I like about this type of crafting. There really isn't a right or wrong, and so it doesn't inhibit me to try things. No, and it's, you can just paint over if you don't like it. Should I do her ears? I don't know. What do you think? Should she do the ears? I mean, I should maybe go over it. Should I do it anywhere else? Sorry. That's fine. I did the ears. I did the ears. Okay, she did the ears. Yeah, you can do the face a bit or whatever. It feels I feel so nice. It does. I just think this thing is so healthy for people to do. 
Like nowadays, we do so much online and on our computers, but to just do these tactile things, I think it's just very, very healthy. Like even at this time of the year with all the canning and stuff like that, yeah, I, I feel that's a healthy thing too. Like, oh, it is. You know, like I just it's not hard or anything to do it, but it's just yeah. No, I think it's just good for you. Like physical labor. Yeah. Okay, yes, yeah, she is. You can smile. She is cute. Yeah, I like her. So yours is pretty well done, right? I think so. I might just have to put a touch in there the time. I'm just going to dry him up. There's a few places I had a fair bit of water, so I can see it kind of pooling in his mold here. Yeah, I definitely think. I mean, list them and see if they're popular, but I'll be surprised if you don't sell. You let me know if they're popular. Yeah. Right now, we just sell locally. We just list stuff on Facebook Marketplace, and people come and pick the stuff up. So. I put a little bit of dry brush here on top. What do you think? And we'll see. No, oh, I see. Yeah, it's just good. To I think just to maybe put a bit more gold. Now, some people have the impression that if you put wax on, that that must be the final stage. That there's you can never go over like um, any type of gold wax or any kind of wax with anything once it's once you've put that on. But that really is uh, a misnomer. It's not really true. Like if you were waxing something. Gold on, gold blown out. Then you would not want to paint until it had cured, like, maybe even up to a month. But when you're just putting little dabs here and there, uh, it does not hurt anything to go over with it with a bit of dry brush after. It's, yeah. It's not. It's not going to fall off. It's not going to crack off. It's not going to. It just can sometimes change the look of things. I'll show you guys a close up of these heads, and you can see the one with the white dry brush and brushing and one without. Okay. But yeah, but uh, I think it turned out We're done. pretty well. Well, thanks for watching. As always, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Share this with a friend of yours. Uh, try making a head. Let it know. Let us know how it works out. If you uh, don't like your head, you could make another head. Yeah, yeah. Just pick another head, hey? Mm -hmm. Well, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.